Hey everybody. So anytime anybody hears that I'm a blacksmith, I often get asked, well, are you going to go on Forge and Fire? Thing is, is that I basically consider myself a general blacksmith. Just like any other profession, there are like specializations and everything. People that go on uh, Forge and Fire, I'm not saying that they can't do other things, but they basically generalize in making blades. They are bladesmiths. And could I go on Forge and Fire? Yes. Do I have the skill to actually win it? I don't think so, no. I like doing all kinds of different projects. I like doing uh, basically the stuff that I do. It's just my, I let my imagination run wild. Today, we are going to take this one centimeter square stock and make it into a uh, plant mounting hook. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy the project and of course learn something. To start things off, we're going to take the tip here, flatten it out and make a rat's tail. We're just going to flatten it out and curl it up on itself. like a 90 degree angle right about here. Just gonna go to the vise and do that real quick. There we go. Now we have the hook that will be for the plants. to do is to uh, I'm gonna shove this pretty deep in there because around here I want to make another bend for uh, the part that's gonna go to towards the uh, it's gonna be to the wall I've got the part that will actually like uh, go, this will be against the wall, this will stick out. What I want to do next is I want to put a bend here, I want to put a bend around here where the bottom piece here will actually come back and support the top part here. It will give a uh, plenty of chance for the plant to hang and everything. But on the lower part here, I actually want to try uh, a bit of a blacksmith twist to it called a cubic twist. This is the this is going to be the interesting part. So I'm gonna uh, measure out a few things, exactly where I want it, 
and then I'm going to uh, try to do the cubic twist. As you can see, I'm making a mark right as much as in the middle as possible here. This is how you make a cubic uh, twist. You first make mark on all four sides, and then on two of the on the, two of the edges, you come and you make uh, horizontal ones. And then when you twist it, they'll all pop out like dice, which is really nice. the chisel to actually make this, uh, the cross marks but actually way easier and faster to do it with uh, an angle grinder.
Okay. I'm gonna put this. Uh, yeah, you can see it pretty good. Don't want to grab it there. That's hot. Okay. So, as you can see, yeah. So as you can see, actually went a little further than I needed to here. Might have to uh, heat this back up and, oh well. Anyways, uh, so as you can see here, one side is perfectly fine, the other is uh, notched, and this is what's going to pop up, at, pop out as cubes. So I'm gonna heat this up and then give you a close-up look of what it actually looks when it, when it bends. So like I said on one of my previous videos, the real trick to a good twist is having it the heat as even as possible. And here, yeah, I have a slight issue here. Uh, okay. Later. Now, cool. the camera to give you guys a good look. So, yeah, maybe this way. And that is not exactly a perfect cubic twist, but it is an actual cubic twist. Okay, on to the next part. Okay, so here comes the part where we bend. what I wanted. I'm going to heat up this part here and actually twist it around a piece of metal. Okay, some tongs. parts because it wasn't fitting in the forge properly I needed to come and bend that piece so now I can put it in the forge and heat up where I need
goes to show you never exactly know what to expect when doing some of these projects. I really did not expect that this twist around would be the hardest part of the entire project. It gave me so much trouble. I, I was so focused on getting it done that I literally forgot to turn the camera on. So now I'm back to the anvil to give this a kind of a cleanup, make it look a little bit better. So yeah, sorry for, sorry about not getting that on film, but it gave me so much trouble. So what I'm going to do later, I have this metal plating that I actually got from an old water tank. I'm going to cut two rectangular strips out of this and I'm going to actually weld this to the back uh, uh, so they, they can put the screws in. First, I've got to straighten this out, being straight. I'm gonna get it actually. So, looking pretty good so far. Uh, whole thing is, my camera's not too kind when uh, when I try to film uh, some welding. Ain't gonna do that. I'm gonna prep the back pieces and uh, weld them on. Put the holes in. Uh, put the holes in them first, actually, before I weld them on. And I'll be back. Uh, wire brush this so that it's nice and uh, shiny and I'll be back with the final product. So as promised, the finished product. So yes, it is a very simple, simple hook, but fun, uh, fun project here. So uh, hook for the plant. This will actually create a nice support with this. And of course, the cubic twist, which absolutely came out nice. I wish it was a little bit more even, but I haven't done many of these, so this is very, it's actually fantastic compared to what I've done before. And then like I said, I welded on two little uh, pieces of metal in the back piece so it can go on the wall. So this one's going out to Andrew. Hope you enjoy.